Hi, this is Warren with you, also known as Woe. Today we're going to be doing a brook trout in a digital format. However, this video can definitely be useful for any artists who are interested in how to layer up color and create a realistic effect. Here we have our sketch. And I skipped over the, the, uh, this color just because I was getting used to using this new video editor. So here we are just layering on um, the most basic underneath the skin colors. And in a moment here, the reference photo is going to pop up again so that we can watch it while we work. And so what I'm doing is using a wide open airbrush with a low opacity so I can sketch on this color. And I'm just, I'm just looking at this brook trout and I'm, I'm seeing what is underneath all of the shiny fish scales and the shining light and what is beyond the shadows because we have some very dark shadows on him as well. And I'm just throwing on the, these colors uh, in a very, very loose way, uh, not worrying about how, how perfect it looks because I'm going to be able to blend all these colors in. And all of these colors, uh, as you can see by my layer editor in the lower right, are all on the same layer. And I'm not worrying about making separate layers right now because these are going to get blended in together. So I'm just throwing on these colors. I'm going outside of my lines, uh, coloring outside the lines a little bit. And that doesn't matter because, I, of course, I can just go and erase them off. And here I'm adding some very, some very, very light shades. I really don't necessarily need to worry about this, but I'm just kind of throwing them on there because I can see them. And every once in a while, between takes, you can see me erasing the edges just to keep it looking good. And so here we have a little bit finer airbrush to do the fins and those lines that I just put on. This kind of creamy peach color I can see underneath the darker colors on the fin so that's why I'm putting it on. I want all these colors that are underneath so, so that I can layer over them. These are not the colors as they're going to look in the end. This is just what what's going to be the most base color so I'm still leaving these all on the same layer and then you're also going to be able to see me adding uh, smudging here we go and this is just blending in all of the color together and the reason I'm not giving any tips related to the, the digital art program that I'm using which is sketchbook pro because I figure this layering on colors is fairly universal for no matter what program you may be using. So here I'm adding a, a, a darker, more maroon color, but the opacity is very, very light. So because I can see this darkness underneath the shadowed areas, I'm going to be adding this color. And here I'm adding an entirely new layer and choosing black for my shadows. And at this stage, I want to be able to see these shadows so that I can compare my other colors with the shadows. So I'm going to be adding these shadows to all of the areas that I can see them and not being too terribly careful about getting them perfect. I'm going to, I'm going to, here you can see I'm going out of, the, uh, out of my, my outline boundaries underneath the belly because I can erase and I can smudge them back into line. I can use my smudging tool to organize up these shadows and blend them all in together to make them look very smooth which they naturally do on the fish's skin. So here we're taking care of the edges of the shadow. Here I'm doing the middle and making it all blend in together. Here I'm extending the shadow a little bit and on the mouth area I'm actually pulling in the shadow and dragging the smudge towards the darker part of the shadow to to refine it and I can make all these curves around the mouth um, it's it almost acts as an eraser when you do it over the middle part of the shadows but here you're gonna see me actually erasing the belly getting all my 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 boundaries back in line with my outline and then you can also use the smudge to make those lines which ends up a little bit rough you can make them um, smooth again because obviously all the lines on this fish are going to be very smooth. Now this shadow on the fin is not black. If you look and you can 
see in the reference photo that there is some light still hitting that fin even though it's shadowed. So that fin we are actually going to blend over and lighten slightly so that you can see the light coming through it which is why it's nice to have the color underneath it because then you can see the color coming through the shadow and it gives a very realistic effect. So right there we're starting to see some of the realism uh, really come through. Now doing the eye I've added a completely new layer because I want to be able to erase around the eye anywhere I go um, onto the other colors. I want to be able to erase without worrying about erasing my skin color. And here I am just, you can see how much my, my cursor is moving uh, getting the 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 pupil um, on there because I'm just playing with it as I go. I'm just extending it out, watching that reference photo very very closely, trying to get that just right so it looks very realistic. And as I'm adding this uh, this color around the eye, I'm doing it on another layer as well because I want to be able to smudge this dark gray, very fine line around the eye and make it blend into the flesh uh, and the the very smooth skin around it and not have it be so so dark and bold and here you can see I'm I'm smudging and erasing and see f refining that line so that it looks just like my reference uh, a fish eye is just one of those things that you just have to go off of a an example to get it right now obviously I've forgotten the shadow on the, the uh, upper fin and this is of course going back on the shadow layer because I want to be able to have it ride over the top of all the color and when we go back and we do the actual pattern texture on um, on the skin uh, all of these shadows we're going to be able to lighten and darken as we need to to see the, the texture and the pattern underneath them and here I'm doing shadows, very, very, very fine shadows around the eye. So I'm still actually using the airbrush. I'm just using a very, very fine um, oh, oh, and, and very, very low opacity so that I can go over areas over and over again. And then after I get these darker lines in on the shadows, I'm going to be using my, my smudge brush again and pulling them all in there. I'm grabbing the smudge and I'm just going to drag inward a lot towards the center of the shadow um, to refine the edges of the shadow. And if you make any mistakes as far as the under colors go, it isn't really going to matter so much. It's just giving us a baseline, uh, which is why I'm being so fast and loose with adding this color on. Um, here I'm adding a darker green. If we get any of these colors wrong, there is a lot of pattern uh, in this brook trout skin, so it's going to correct that. Um, every once in a while you can see me, because I'm using, you can see on my cursor how wide open my airbrush is and how low the opacity is, so I'm just sketching on that dark, dark green color. Well, I can go and correct all of that. So I'm just, I'm just really generalizing here. Now, this color is actually going on a separate layer because when I smudge in this darker green color and I erase the edges of it, I don't want to erase my other. See, I'm going onto the fin and there I'm erasing it off of the fin. <laughs> so I want to be able to do that freely. I want to be very free and loose here. I'm just sketching this color on and I'm just happy to erase it and smudge it. There, I'm cleaning up the fin again and now I'm adding uh, an even darker uh, green with us with a finer airbrush because I don't want it to be so wide here on the head and here on the 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 dorsal part of the body you can see there in the reference photo that bit of darkness there I messed that up and now I'm correcting it I just backed out of there and here I can smudge uh, all those colors and you can see how I've got that green colors looking rather motley there on the side of the body well, there I just adjusted my smudge brush wide, very wide, and very, very low opacity so that I can just blend all these in and make it look really nice and fine like the, like the, the fish's body is ultimately going to end up doing. So here we're moving into the last stage for this video, and I'm adding in a little bit more of this, of this darker color, 
and I'm just kind of refining the areas where I can see it um, on the skin and I'm just going to be finishing up here with these darker darker green and then I'm going to smudge them in once again and as you can see we've got a nice uh, nice um, undercoat a first layer for this fish's skin and in the next video uh, I'm going to be showing adding on the patterning um, which is going to be a lot of fun so if you subscribe here to our channel uh, below you can get notified of when the next video is coming and it will be very very soon and uh, we'll get all of the pattern on there and then in the final video we're going to be doing all the fine line details and all the things like the sliminess of the fish's skin and all the you know the shadow refining and the glistening uh, light kind of going on and here I'm adding some green underneath the shadow areas because you can see color underneath the shadows. Alright, we're about done here. This has been a lot of fun and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Talk to you real soon.